Hello, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I absolutely couldn't be more excited because I am going to do a video that I think you guys are gonna love because I know chances are if you're watching this YouTube video, you probably follow me on Instagram. Um, and if you're not following me, please go follow me at Christy Lukasiak. So for today, I'm actually gonna be sharing some of the backstory and explaining what was happening in some of my Instagram photos. So let's get to it. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know my early Instagram days were really quite tragic. Um, tragic. They were really dark pictures, mostly of my children, and very candid, poorly lit. I mean, this is kind of before like Instagram had an aesthetic and like you were trying to, you know, have a vibe or a theme or like worried about your grid. It literally was just like throwing pictures up. And to be honest, I literally hate seeing myself on camera and I hate photos of myself, which is so freaking super weird considering I was on a reality show and now I post pictures of myself like every day. But you know, this is the world we live in. So that is my cross to bear and I'm willing to do it for you guys. So, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so I thought it'd be really fun if I went back through, um, I didn't go too, too, well, I didn't go back to the very beginning of my Instagram because honestly, 99.9% .9 of those pictures were literally just Chloe and like random places but I did go back kind of far and I found some winners. I thought it would be really fun to kind of like give you the scoop of what was happening. So the first picture we're gonna talk about is a photo of me in Dublin. So I believe Kendall Vertez took this picture and it was when the Irreplaceables were on tour in Ireland and we were staying in the place called Temple Bar. It's like, for all my Irish fans, it's a really fun part of the city. And I do believe that I was looking for fish and chips because anytime I'm in the UK or Ireland, um, I think the only thing I eat is fish and chips. So I was looking for that or possibly Irish whiskey or a Guinness, but you know, I'm in pub town. So I was clearly going to a bar. Sorry guys, I mean, that's kind of who I am. All right, this picture is actually interesting because we were in Lima, Peru, again, on the Irreplaceables tour. And I think right before we had left, this is kind of when I decided that I was gonna do an overhaul on my Instagram and I was gonna kind of like try to take more exciting pictures and like edit them and put myself in them. So we were at a fountain park and I was like, okay guys, I need a picture of me. And I don't wanna just stand there and like pose. So I was like, I'm gonna twirl and I made Kira take the photo and she did. And my toes are completely pigeon toed because I was twirling and I never claimed to be a dancer. And I remember feeling really, really stupid taking this picture because I'm like, why am I doing this? But I do like the way it came out. And it was funny because when I was reading through all the comments, so many of you were like, why do you wear grandma dresses? Because I have a lot of secrets to hide under my grandma dresses, you guys. So. That was kind of my first attempt at like taking an Instagram type like influencer picture. And I like the way it came out. So I posted it. Oh, I love this one. All right, this is a photo of my girls and I in Hawaii. Um, we went to Hawaii, I wanna say it was the fall of 2017 and we stayed in Oahu. We actually went to Olani, the Disney property, so I'm happy to give you guys a review of that if you wanna know about it. It was really, really fun. Um, but one of the things we did in Hawaii is we rented a car because we wanted to like explore the island and see things outside of just the resort. So this was, oh gosh, I have to remember the beach, but I was Googling and my friend who vacations in Hawaii all the time, I was like, listen, I wanna go to a blue, blue, beautiful water beach and she suggested this beach, and it's a public beach. There's no hotels on it, there's just houses. So when we got there, the problem was is that we had to change into our swimsuits. And my mother-in-law was with me, and if <laughs> she's kind of insane, in the best way, I love her, but she's really funny. She's like, there's nowhere for me to change. She's like, just hold up a towel. I'll sneak behind this bush and change. So like, I remember holding up a towel, and she's like, changing behind a bush my children were traumatized because they're like is our grammy naked in public and she in fact was and i'm really grateful that we didn't get like public nudity fines or anything like that but the water was clear it was beautiful i loved it and we had a really fun day and i just remember thinking like oh my god i've looked my whole life for water this blue and i just we really loved hawaii hawaii was like i have to go back for sure if you can even see that photo because it's so damn dark 
Um, that is a photo of like the OG OG dance moms. And that was taken in Las Vegas. We were at the ice bar. And this was probably one of my favorite nights. It was actually one of my favorite scenes of Dance Moms. They showed you where we all went to the ice bar and we did the shots and we were like, shots, geese, blah. Um, but we were wearing white fur and we went to this ice bar. So what was really happening behind the scenes of this photo is that actually was the day that Dance Moms was premiering in the United States. And we were on the West Coast and all of our family was on the East Coast. So the show premiered at eight o'clock on the East Coast and we did not see it until three hours later. So all of our family who was home actually watched the show before we ever saw it. We never saw an episode before it aired, ever. Everyone who always thinks we did, we did not. And um, that was the episode where Chloe's headband fell down and I kept talking about getting a drink and going to get, you know, wine. They showed me like drinking a lot and talking about drinking, but that was kind of like, I got nervous and that was my joke to go to. Um, yes, I like to go have a glass of wine. Like, yes, I just said in Ireland, like I wanted to go to a bar. But it wasn't really like who I always was. And when they showed that, I remember a review came out that said blonde booze fan Christy and Mark lost his mind. He was like, how, you're a mother, how could you be like this on TV? And this is all before I ever saw the first episode. And I was so anxiety ridden about watching the show uh, because I had heard that I was being portrayed as this big drinker. And again, I like to have a glass of wine, like cheers to all my moms who do. Um, but it was like unnerving to think that that was like my reputation out there. Of course, you know, things changed and, you know, but just that was like the very, very, very first thing that people said about me. And it was really, it, it was, that was a rough one to swallow. But that night, before the show premiered, you know, they took us out, we had a viewing party. So it was kind of a fun night because like our kids were baby, they were really little. And like, here we are in Vegas and we're like, oh my God, we're gonna watch the show that's gonna premiere and kind of like show our lives in Pittsburgh. And we're like, oh, is anybody really gonna watch this? And clearly you did. So that's a special night to me. Oh, okay, so for my next photo, this is one of the favorite photos I've ever had taken of my girls. Um, this was taken in downtown Pittsburgh, so we have tons of bridges in Pittsburgh, and um, we had a photographer, and I wanted to take my girls like in black leotards, like being dancers, because the city colors are black and gold, and the bridges are gold, and I wanted it to kind of be like artistic or whatever, but um, Clara clearly had a lot of attitude. You know, she <laughs> still has a lot of attitude every time she is, difficult. Mark always looks at me and says, how does it feel to raise yourself? So I don't know where she gets it from. We were trying to make her smile and like participate in this photo and she was just like not having it. So she crossed her arms, gave Chloe a dirty look. My photographer snapped the picture and now we have historical data of both of my children's personality until the end of time. And I have this picture. I have intentions of having it enlarged and like framed and put in my basement. Haven't done it yet. Best laid plans. Um, but I do love that photo, it's hysterical to me. I love this picture so much because Clara always had to grow up kind of, I don't wanna say in Chloe's shadows, but she was always like the tag along. Anytime we filmed Dance Moms, like Clara was always like being dragged along with a nanny and a babysitter. So she was part of things, but it was never really truly about her. So a couple of years ago, we were in Los Angeles for the summer and I sent her on a few auditions and she booked a role, just, you know, a guest star role on Nikki, Ricky, Dickie and Donna, Nickelodeon. And the whole week that we were on set, it was all about her and she just had the most fun. And she totally made friends with the little dog that was on set. And it turns out, weirdly enough, years later, the woman who was the dog trainer actually trained Barnaby. So like, it's so weird how everything kind of like circles back. So Clara that week was all about her. She was so excited to be on set. She met a friend, a dog, and then we, you know, made friends with the trainer who eventually trained her dog. So it was, that was a good one. All right, so this photo is actually really interesting because we went back to Dance Mom season seven and Chloe had to take the cover for her book, like the photograph for it and they wanted to do it on camera. Um, so I literally just hired a photographer to run to the studio that the kids were practicing at. And we knew at lunch, we had a break that we were gonna run outside. Chloe was gonna shoot her book cover. Literally, like she shot it against a white wall. 
um, with a photographer that I hired and they were filming it. And so Chloe had shot all of her pictures that we were sending to the publisher for them to choose for Girl on Point. So link below if you want to buy a coffee. And I was like, wait, I have hair and makeup on because I was clearly on camera and Claire was there. I was like, hurry up, let's just take a quick family picture. So we jumped in, you know, all hugged. They took that picture and then ended up being one of my favorite, you know, pictures of me and my girls that we've ever had. So that picture actually, it was Chloe taking her Girl on Point photo and it just so happened that it turned out to be one of my favorite pictures of my girls. This wouldn't be a video without a photo of Kelly and me. Um, so that picture was taken in January of 2017. Um, a few months before Kelly had called me and she's like, hey, do you wanna go on a cruise? And I'm like, I guess. I'd never been on a cruise before. And she's like, no, it'll be fun. Um, it's a country music cruise and I'm like, well, I don't know if I'm exactly like a huge country music fan. It's fine. I don't love it, but I don't mind it. So, you know, I made plans. It was us. Like, I think it was a, I want to say a four or five night cruise. So that photo was actually taken right after we boarded. Is that what it's called? We embarked on the ship. I don't know. Um, disembarked is when you leave. I don't know. Boarded. We boarded the ship. We had just gone to the safety thing, like how to row a boat if the ship capsizes or whatever. And we were like, mm, let's go back to the room. Oh, we were like, oh, let's go back to the room. Um, and Kelly has on her cowboy hat, which I think I kept accusing her of stealing it from Jill. And then we went to the pool and that was the beginning of our international waters girl trip. So we had a lot of fun, as you might imagine. This photo, I actually adore uh, because Chloe was invited a few years in a row to um, participate in the International Day of Peace at the UN. And that photo was taken on our way in. Um, she did not speak this year, she spoke the following year. Uh, but it was just really an interesting experience to like see the UN and go in. And Michael Douglas was the, um, I guess the host for lack of a better word. He was like um, kind of facilitating all of the uh, peace talks that day on, in for International Day of Peace. And Leonardo DiCaprio also came and presented his movie about global warming. So it was really interesting because we got to go into the holding room with everyone and I think Ben Stiller was there. Uh, but we talked to Michael Douglas for quite a while and his son and daughter from Catherine Zeta-Jones were there and they were sitting like a row in front of us. And um, you know, Chloe, they were around Chloe's age so they were talking and you know, we were talking to Michael Douglas and we're like, oh yeah, we're from Pittsburgh. And he said that his son was actually looking at going to Carnegie Mellon for acting. And it was really cute because he was like, I don't know why he would want to be an actor. And it was just hysterical because like, you know, his wife is an Oscar winning actor. His father is an Oscar winning actor. He's an Oscar winning actor. And it was just, it was cool. It was really fun to talk to him. And then, so Leonardo DiCaprio, when he walked in the room, Okay, so this is totally the tea. Um, you know, they always say that like Leah likes a young girl. Well, Chloe was sitting there and she was very beautifully done with her blonde hair and her red lips and she's sitting like a couple rows back and he walks in and I swear to God, in that entire room, he looks and he focuses in on my 16 year old blonde, beautiful girl in red lipstick and that's who he looked at like the entire time he gave his presentation. So I was like, oh, I mean, in a way, it's Leonardo DiCaprio, like Jack, my heart will go on. But then again, like, hey, you're middle-aged and she's a teenager, like keep it moving. There is a rare Mark sighting. Um, so that photo I love because Mark and Chloe actually attended attended the Allegiant premiere in New York City. And if you know anything about Chloe, you know she loves the Hunger Games and the Allegiant series. And she was so excited to go to Allegiant, but I couldn't go. And Mark was like, I'll go. So they had this father-daughter trip to New York. And it was just fun for Mark to like go walk the red carpet with Chloe. He of course would never take a picture, but just to see her kind of like do that, where I always get to see it and he really doesn't get to experience any of that. And then of course they go to the after party and somehow they ended up in the cast room, not like the general party, but they always have like a reserve VIP area. And Chloe was like hanging out with like Shailene Woodley and all these people and Mark's like, how did we end up here? And I'm like, I don't know, that's what I keep saying. How did we end up here? So I like that photo because I like the fact that they got to go and do something together. And Mark kind of got to see the exciting part of like the, the benefits of Chloe's life. So that was really fun. 
Speaking of the benefits of Chloe's life, so we all know when Chloe was the first winner of the Teen Choice Choice Dancer Award, like that was such a big moment for her because she had left Dance Moms a couple of months before on terrible terms and it was just a really hard time and it was totally you guys who voted that category into existence and then you nominated her and every time something would happen we were like, oh my God, you got nominated. Like it couldn't get any better. And then, you know, and then like two days before the awards ceremony, they um, had contacted the Choice Dancer category nominees and they were like, hey, this category is gonna be presented on air. And we're like, oh my God, that's amazing. And then I got an email like the night before from Chloe's publicist that said, hey, um, just in case you happen to be the winner, please make sure you have a speech prepared. And I was like, oh my God, like this is, could the, and I didn't really have any expectations of it. I was just like, oh my God, like this is a true possibility. And so I said to Chloe, I'm like, do you know what you're gonna say? And I said, do you wanna go over something? Do you want some ideas? And she looked at me and she was 15 and she was like, nope. She's like, I know exactly what I'm gonna say, mom. She's like, don't worry about it. I got it. I know what I'm gonna say. And when they came out and they called her name and she walked up to the podium. Um, and I also wanted to say one more thing. To anyone who's ever been told out there that they can't do it, they shouldn't do it, or they aren't good enough, ignore it, do it anyways, and prove them wrong. That was the first time I heard the speech, just like when everybody else heard it. And you can hear somebody crazy like screaming in the back before she finished it, and that was me. That was like, proud mom. Uh, but I will, till the end of time, stand that speech. I, I just couldn't have been more proud of Chloe in that moment. Um, she handled herself with the utmost grace and dignity. What you guys didn't know was seated right in front of her to the left was the entire cast of Dance Bombs, including someone who did not want Chloe to win. Um, I won't say her name. And Chloe looked right at her and said, um, you know, if anyone tells you you can't do it, ignore it, do it anyways, and prove them wrong. And I mean, the nerve of a 15 year old to be able to do that. So that's kind of like the behind the scenes moment of that moment and I was pretty proud. So that photo was actually taken in Aruba. And um, so anytime we used to travel when Chloe was little or we were at a beach, I always made her take the beach dancing pictures. And it was like such a funny thing of life because she'd always be like, oh, do I have to dance on the beach? And I'd be like, yeah, let's take these pictures. And we sort of forgot about it as she grew up. And like, I stopped making her do things like that. So this past summer, every time we were at the beach, I'm like, Chloe, do you wanna take beach dancing pictures? And she's like, please leave me alone. Forget my number, um, nobody is home. Like go away, Christy. And I was like, why? And she said, because you tortured me so much as a child. So that picture really makes me laugh because I made her do it all the time as a kid. This picture is actually attached to one of my very favorite Kelly Highland stories of all time. So we were in Los Angeles, I think for the second time, the Dance Bombs had just started airing. Um, so we were getting a little bit of attention from places and we got invited to this benefit um, it was Cats, like the performance of Cats, and it was supporting, I think, feral cats in Los Angeles. I have no idea. And I don't know why we decided to go, but we were just like, oh, we should go. We've never done a red carpet or anything before. Like, it, we were so new to this world. So we're like, oh, okay, we're gonna go do this. And so we get to the carpet, no media experience whatsoever. I mean, I guess we had been on like Good Morning America and the Today Show, but like not interviews on the red carpet experience. So we get there. And we're all on the carpet, people are taking pictures, you know, and they, they're interviewing us individually. And I turn around and they, they said to Kelly, why are you here? And she's like, or they were like, what made you want to come tonight? Why are you here? And Kelly is like, um, I'm here to support the cats. And like, I died. Like I died a million deaths because Kelly was there to support the cats. I don't know why that was so funny, but it was friggin' amazing. Kelly was there to support the cats. Oh, that was Chloe and Paige's first trio. And actually, I think they were maybe four or, f no, I think they were five. I think they were in kindergarten. And Josh was the third person of that trio, Paige's big brother. And 
Abby wanted to do something with Josh and Paige and Chloe was the little girl in the group who looked the most like Paige because she liked to put dancers together that looked alike. And so that's kind of how Chloe got that role in Mr. Touchdown and Josh was Mr. Touchdown and they were the cheerleaders and they won nationals that year with that trio and they were so excited and they were like so proud of themselves they were babies and i was like oh my gosh this is amazing and then i said to josh i'm like hey are you gonna dance next year and he's like no i'm retiring i'm only gonna street dance so we never saw josh highland on stage after that and i'm not sure if i've ever seen him street dance so such a dance mom um, I had to post that photo. So after we left um, Dance Moms, I gave Chloe the option of quitting dance. And she took the entire summer to like think about it. And she had um, a few surgeries on her eye at the time. And I just gave her some space. And she had decided that yes, in fact, in the fall, she wanted to go back to dance. So we found a new studio for her, which was Studio 19, which is actually the studio that Jill and Kendall came from before they were on the show. They came to the show, or they came to, ALDC to be on Dance Moms, like they didn't come there just to dance. Um, but the studio that Kendall had grown up and trained at was actually Studio 19 and they're fantastic. Um, so Chloe had decided that she wanted to dance there and she was, she really was pushed there and she did a great job and um, Tammy was always, you know, completely lovely to Chloe. So I have nothing, nothing but great things to say about her. That one's a little dark and hard to see, but the little baby in that is Chloe. And I love that picture because it's actually my grandma's kitchen. And Chloe and her cousin Greta were the only like two little ones at the time. And they loved to go going to Grammy's house because like Grammy gave them cookies and she always had M&Ms. Um, and Hershey Kisses and anything else that they weren't really supposed to have. So they would stand at that door and they would like watch the trains go by because there was a train track not far. And I can just imagine when I look at that picture that my grandma is standing at the stove next to them. And if you look closely, Chloe's in Releve. And she was just such a little baby and she's wearing her ladybug outfit. And it's just sweet. Like I just love that photo because it's sweet. And I know my grandma was sitting right there. So that one's a good one for me. Okay, so this picture was actually taken in London when we were, um, I'm not sure, I think Chloe might have been around 13, we were visiting London. But the joke behind this picture is that when Chloe was growing up and we would go to Disney World all the time, anytime we were in Epcot and we were in the UK in Epcot, they have a phone booth like that. And the joke was we would always like jump in the phone booth and pretend to be stuck, I know, so cheesy. But it was like something she loved to do as a kid. And then when we were actually in London, she wouldn't do the joke anymore. So Claire and I got in to do it and then she locked us in and was like, I left them in the phone booth. So that's when I knew that Chloe was officially no longer going to do all of my like cheesy little things that she did the whole time she grew up and that Claire was going to have to be my new partner in crime. So this photo was actually taken on Mark's 40th birthday. We were in Australia and we were visiting the Great Barrier Reef. Like Mark wanted to snorkel at the Great Barrier Reef on his 40th birthday so we made that happen. But what they don't tell you is that we stayed in Hamilton Island and we took this boat that was like a two hour boat ride to the Great Barrier Reef. And in June in Australia, it's really winter. And what they don't tell you is that the Coral Sea gets really rough. So we were going out on the boat and like we were maybe an hour, hour and a half into it. And all of a sudden we see all of the employees on the boat walking around handing out motion sickness bags to everyone and we're like what and um all of a sudden like we hit this rough patch and the boat started like oh my god it started moving in ways that were inhumane and next thing i knew literally there's probably 400 people on this boat everyone was throwing up literally the entire ship was puking in these bags including my family chloe did not throw up everybody else did um and then, I mean, the smell on the ship was unbelievable. And the people were walking around with um, eucalyptus spray, like cleaning everything up. And I just remember thinking like, I wanna die. Like I put myself in these situations all the time where I'm like, oh, this would be really cool to do. And then I get there, I'm like, F this, I don't wanna do it. And I'm like, oh my God, once we get out to the Great Barrier Reef, we have to turn around and take this boat ride home. And lo and behold, on the ride home, everybody got sick again. It was hell. However, 
the Great Barrier Reef was really cool. So like, it's kind of that trade off like, okay, we saw one of the seven wonders of the world, but then we puked everywhere. So that's what was happening. That was, that was mid puke. We had thrown up on the way and we didn't throw, and we were throwing up on the way back. So that photo was actually taken when everyone was feeling good. Too much, TMI, was that TMI? So this picture you see Chloe's holding a little bird on a popsicle stick. So we were filming Dance Bomb season one and we were actually in Connecticut. Um, and this was the episode that they showed me and Chloe, Chloe and I, going to my old childhood home. And you know, we were dancing on the lawn, everybody loved that episode. And um, one of the things that I remembered as a kid that I loved is that close by to where we lived was this place called Mystic Marine Life Aquarium. And growing up as a child, like my school always went there for school field trips. So I'm like, oh my God, I wanna take my girls there so badly. So we had like a three hour break from something we were filming and I put my kids in a taxi, I took them over and I took them to like where I visited as a child. And that was, I think in the bird room, there was a bird room and Chloe like, was holding a clo bird. I kept saying like, take a picture with the clo bird. So Chloe was holding a clo bird in Mystic and that was filmed during um, Dance Moms on a break. We were on a break. This is probably one of my top two favorite pictures of my girls ever. Um, we were on vacation at Disney World and we were having dinner at the Grand Floridian and I just snapped that picture. Like the quality is so poor, um, but I love that picture of them together because they're babies and they're like dressed in white and the background is beautiful. And I think we were going to dinner at Narcoosie's, but I don't know, I really just love that picture. And it's just such like, it makes me so happy when I see it because like my girls love to go on trips with us and they're always so fun. And like, we have the best time traveling as a family. So I don't know, I love that picture. All right, I believe that was season four Dance Moms reunion. I think that's when I wore that white dress. And um, in between takes, like Clara was there cause she had a nanny that had her on set. And in between takes, like she would run onto set and sit with me on the sofa or she would sit on the sofa and I would have to like interview her. And I think she was around five at the time. So it was hysterical because we would like be in the middle of these massive blowouts and like, you know, rehashing all these issues. And then we would take a commercial break and Clara would, do, 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 come out in her little pink dress and sit with her pigtails and I would be like so Clara tell me what did you play today and she would answer all those questions and she loved it anytime Clara could like get in an interview chair or sit in our chairs like our you know where we were watching the girls dance or like sit on the sofas where the interviews were she was there for it because she loved to pretend and I was like listen if you want to take my place I will happily give you my seat I die for this picture we were in Detroit and um, we were filming, of course, and um, the girls, I don't know if all of them, they're, I don't know if all of the girls are in my room. I Obviously, it's Nia, Paige, and Chloe in this photo, but like, like the girls would always hang out in each other's rooms whenever we weren't filming or at night or after a competition, and the girls were in my room, and again, I think it was right after Dance Mom started airing, maybe a couple of episodes in, and the girls were starting to figure out that like people knew who they were. So they were Googling each other in this picture. They were Googling themselves. And I was like, oh God, why would you Google yourselves? And then I remembered that they were nine and it was fine because like what's gonna come up bad about a nine year old. But it was just so funny because it was the first time that they really realized that like anybody knew who they were. And so they were like, Google, Nia Frazier. Google, it was just cute. It was so cute, such a cute moment for them. All right, this photo was actually taken this past summer. We were on a big family vacation in North Carolina. And um, you know, I feel bad sometimes because I'm asking my family to take these pictures of me and I'm doing like ridiculous things. So that photo was actually taken. I took my phone down, put it on a tripod. I had a remote and I was just like, frolicking through the waves myself with a little remote. And I took that picture just as I was like running and leaping. So the funny thing about that picture is everyone was up at the house having dinner and I was down in the waves frolicking, taking my own photo with a remote control. Extra. That may be my favorite photo that I've ever taken. Um, we were in Grand Cayman for Chloe's 25th birth. No. <laughs> She's not 25, for her 18th birthday on the 25th of May. And we were down at the beach and I like got a drink and I had my son hat on. I was like, oh my God, it's so perfect. There's no boats out there. I was like, Chloe, take my picture. And I literally just sat in the sand and held it. And then um, it just turned out so perfectly. I freaking love that picture. I wanna like blow it up and frame it in my house because to me, that is like where I wanna live the rest of my life on that beach with that drink and my family. 
So I love that picture. Okay, once again, this is from Hawaii. Um, I am one of those people who when we're traveling somewhere, I totally like research it and like figure out the cool stuff or the weird stuff or the scary stuff or the murders um, that happen in those areas. And I completely like make my family go and do stuff. And that park is actually where Jurassic Park was filmed. And I'm a big Jurassic Park fan. So I made them go and then I made them pretend like a T-Rex was chasing us and I made them run through the park. So it was really fun to me and they're just really good sports. So that was my Jurassic Park moment. Dun, dun, dun. The photo that everyone has been dying to know what happened. So that photo was actually taken in January, or no, February. Um, the moms were all in town, which we're not always in the same town so much anymore. And we were like, hey, we haven't been in the same room together in over five years. Isn't that insane to think about? Like we had all talked via text, we have a big text chain that goes on, but we had literally not been in a room together for five flipping years. And we're like, you know what, it's time. Like bring the champagne, let's go. And we have something coming up. Something started that day. And we did film something that you guys will eventually see that day. I can't promise when, but it will come out. And then an idea for something else started that day that you guys are gonna find out about really soon. Like really soon, I think it's being announced and everyone is going to love it. I cannot wait for you guys to find out what we have going on because it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool and we're all really excited about it and we cannot wait. It's like killing us not to tell you guys, but hang in there. We have an announcement. It's me, Jill, Melissa, Holly, and Kelly. All right, so here's the joke. My family's a bunch of readers. I love to read too, but like my kids and my husband are like the biggest readers ever. And I always like to like do the historical like sites and things when we visit places. They like to go to libraries. And like while I like a library, I'm not sure why we have to visit libraries at places that we can't check out a book. So I have been to libraries all over the world and I'm a really good sport about it. So that was actually the Library of Congress and instead of like complaining about it, I just made Clara take pictures of me. So that's the library story. And Mark and I, one of our biggest fights in our life, and you can ask Diane Penn and Brittany Penn, was we were in Manchester, England, and Mark and I had like a knockdown drag off fight because he wanted to go to a damn library and I didn't. And I was like, why do we have to go to the library? And he was so mad. Please hold, Clover's calling. Hello? I have to tell the backstory of this photo. It is literally a picture of arms crossed like this in a sweater, my arms, my hands like crossed in a sweater. And I posted it and I guess it's sort of like one of those pictures where like, is it blue or is it white? You know, like one of those because everyone thought it was a photo of my stomach and that that was my pregnancy announcement. You guys, I'm in my mid forties and I have an 18 year old. Like yes, women have babies all the time in their mid forties, not ones that have kids in college. That was not my pregnancy announcement. I am not having a baby, but like my feed blew up that day. I think that picture ended up with like 54,000 likes because everyone thought I was pregnant. No babies are happening with me right now. My baby is Barnaby. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, uh, turn on those notifications and leave a comment below. Let me know what was your favorite picture and if you want me to do another one of these and explain more. All right, see you guys next time.